Well, hello everybody, it's your boy Sam once again, aka the train mother in Maine. My mamas and blabbers and cobbers and blabbers. <laughs> So, uh, I was thinking before we start the video, I need to come up with a name for that intro noise. Um, a lot of you love it. A lot of you absolutely hate it. Um, I like it. It's my thing. The channel is, you know, seven or eight years old. I've done it in, you know, 99 out of my 100 videos, let's just say. So, I'll give it a name and let you guys know uh, what it's called, you know, next time or whatever. So, uh, layout number three, you've seen it before, you haven't seen it in a while. I was doing very well with my age-old promise that I continue to break of one video a month. You know, the first four or five videos on this layout were, uh, and I guess the old layout too, were pretty well spaced as I always promise. I think the last video I did here was on uh, September something or other. Today is November 9th, 2021. Um, tomorrow, the 10th of November is actually my... 30th birthday, so happy birthday to the train main. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right on in. So I, I skipped a couple steps in the process of showing you guys um, what I was doing on this layout. Most importantly, uh, last time you saw the layout, the track plan was complete and all glued down. And you saw the uh, industry buildings, well, most of them. I didn't have every single thing out, but you saw that over here was the coal mine section. You saw you know where the pink is still where the buildings are going to be you saw most of the mine buildings um you saw most of um the lumber mill buildings again the pink and green sections are where buildings footprints will permanently be and then you saw the um the bridge over troubled water bridge over troubled water that's a song i think it obviously is i just sang it that's the bridge over troubled water scene so you've seen the track plan complete You've seen most of the foam put in place. Um, I know like some of this wasn't there, some of that wasn't there. Some of this wasn't there. I'm trying not to pan very fast, I apologize. Um, so I skipped Foamageddon. Um, I've been meaning to make a video for the past two or three weeks once I finished Foamageddon part two, but I just uh, have been sidetracked with so many other things and trying to sneak down here uh, whenever I've had time. I haven't had much time to lay out lately until the past two days. Um, so we'll start over here in general. Um, I got all the foam secured in place uh, throughout the entire layout. So you can see, I'm gonna start over here on this edge. You can see there's still some pink in the brown where the scenery will be, but um, I've painted my rock faces, everything that'll be exposed rock. Um, and you know, I'll do on the old layout, like I'll put uh, grass and dirt and talus and trees and shrubs. Um, and then I gotta do just another coat of brown where it's gonna be mostly earth cover. So you can see I've done that. Get you to look at nice faces and stuff. So I used that base gray and then used a wet Mars black to fill in the nooks and crannies. I haven't used any browns or tans yet to get the earthen tones in there, but you could see just like on the old layout, but even better than it looked that the rock faces are a very three dimensional. I used the same techniques as before. Um, I'm going to fill this just in a little bit, but you know, so this is the only awkward looking section. I used the same techniques, Dremel, uh, hand saw, um, in my multi-tool, so you can see all the rock faces and blah, 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 blah. Um, so foam again, uh, I, like I said, I, I got all the rest of the foam in, and then I took my drywall putty and filled in all the seams and cracks, so it all is flawless and flowing. You can't really tell where one piece of foam starts, even though two inches, two inches, two inches, you know, so that's four, and then including the base, that's four two-inch sections of foam stacked. Um, like I said, so I puttied it, smoothed and sanded it all out, and then got the rock paint on there. So foam again complete. Um, it took, you know, three couple hour sessions over different days to get the foam to exactly where I wanted it looks wise. And then I had to go in and putty it and then go fix the putty where it dried and cracked and then paint it. 
but even just foam again in itself, sawing and getting all this foam all over the place, I completely uh, put away all of my rolling stock, all of my hand tools, um, got all that done in about, it was one full weekend and the following Friday or Saturday after work, I did the rest of it. And then that was two weekends ago. That Sunday I did a uh, clean up again. In. So everything uh, down here, I went through all my railroad stuff, all my tools, all my drawers with trains, all my rolling stock, every shelf, um, all my, I guess I could just show you, but this entire dresser is full of rolling stock and tools. And then I got all my drawers and tools and hand tools and extra wood and all these cabinets full of railroad stuff. So I took the liberty of finishing the foam and then the putty getting the dust everywhere. And I uh, deep cleaned the entire basement because there is a living area down here in my fishing man cave where I am not currently, but watch all my sports and blah, 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 blah. So the basement's completely clean. The layout is clean. I just actually finished vacuuming it up tonight. That's from perspective, there's no schmutz everywhere. There's just, I did all the gray paint and then did a soft coat of brown on top just where the earth's gonna go. I wanna do one more coat. So when you see crap like this, it's just little, you know, nail holes or a gouges from when I was cutting the foam, you know, stabbed in a few awkward places. But, um, so it's really coming along. Like I said, I've uh, got, you know, this nice canyon here. I've got these wood tunnel portals they are secured in. Like I said, I need to go in and do some touch-ups around the edges. I'm gonna weather this a little more, but you can see it's very nice and weathered. Uh, scratch built tunnel portals they're made out of wood um and then i've got my i have to you know i don't i don't know if you call it bevel this edge but taper this edge down i've got my trussle in place the deck and then i want to put a couple legs in there this is going to be water probably just have a leg here a leg here and one in the center so three legs with the water and have a little you know pier island i'm um, on the old layout i did what I thought was cool, and so I decided to do it again. This time it's gonna be abandoned, but on the last layout it was ballasted just like any of this other track will be, and so it could have been considered active, but I just put a little strip of earth down here and some scrap poop track, connected it all together with a joiner here, joiner there, and it's gonna be an abandoned weed overground, you know, uh, out of service, completely abandoned rail line. Might throw like an abandoned box car or caboose down here or something and then the river scene in this nice gorge so um the water is something i've never messed with everything else i've done fast and gotten to this point very quickly compared to the last layout but um the water scene is something i'm still intimidated by so you can see this track's not secured the bridge is not firmly secured in place but that's where it will rest i gotta fashion up some legs and then secure it down um, nothing's really changed. Like I said, the track's been glued down. The lumber scene, um, gonna get the buildings in final place, mark down where they're all gonna go. Same thing over here. Um, well, so the tops of these, uh, all the earth and grass and ballast is, you've seen on the old layout how I'm gonna do that, probably very similar. The tops of these, I'm gonna do more forest, um, some rocky boulder type forests. Um, up here, so here's where the, the logging forest will go. I'm gonna and assume this area was logged a little bit, but it's gonna grow into thicker forest. As we go over here, I have the other wooden tunnel portal right along this edge. And then over here, you know, I'm gonna have forest on top of the cliffs and all that. I gotta paint these two. They're uh, Woodland Scenics plaster mold, wooden tunnel portals, but I'm gonna paint those brown as well, weather them up. I got another one over here in this little echo canyon or whatever you want to call it. Um, but again, you know, I'm going to do the earth tones, the grass, the uh, shrubbery, the four different layers of bushes and uh, really tree it up so it's a forest and kind of hides the rear of the fascia. I also, um, the mine scene, same thing, got to get all the buildings firmly in place, put my elevator shafts going into the mountain, get all that kind of scheme together. Over here on the mine and on the uh, lumber mill, I have all the buildings marked as you can see, but I want to a thousand percent put them in and then start putting in all the little finer building details. 
So once I actually secure them, you know, everything's already put to bed, so to speak. Um, operationally, um, you know, it'll be very easy to do operations over here. You know, it'll take maybe, you know, eight to 10 cars at a time, pick up eight loads, bring in 10 empties, vice versa. I also put in the little abandoned looking track here. We'll do that up nice and bury it and have, you know, an abandoned caboose again or something on it, not really sure. If you looked at the old layout again, you'll see I had that in a few different spots. I didn't want to overdo it. I felt like on the layout, every single scene on the old layout, I think I said old layout, every, on the old layout, every single scene had some abandoned, you know, severed from any main line or industry track, abandoned trackage and, you know, every, like every single scene had it. So I'm gonna do it over here. Probably not over there. I might make one of these, um, maybe this guy or one of these two, maybe, who knows, kind of out of service or maybe this connector, who knows, whatever I feel. Like I said, uh, bigger was definitely not better on the last layout especially when my techniques were not as good as they are now because as problems arose with such a big layout, uh, DCC especially, um, I just had bit off way more than I could chew. This layout's very simple. It's only single main line, which is more prototypical anyway. Um, the track works all cleaner, soldering's a lot better, wiring's a lot better. Techniques are a lot better. I mean, I've done on this layout in, you know, call it four months, what took me two years almost, year and a half, two years on the previous layout and what I never got to on the first layout if you started watching the channel from day one. So um, next up will be, I'm gonna finish doing a lot of the, um, I'm gonna finish doing the brown earth tones. There's still a few spots, some white spots of putty, a little bit of pink, just in a handful of spots. So I'll probably take a very nice session um, and just completely finish all the paint, um, including in that, you know, I'll take my wet brush and put in a few earth tone of browns and reds and stuff on the rocks because no rocks are just black and gray like this. Um, so I'll definitely finish up the painting and earth tones next. It's the most logical step. Um, from there, I will, and I'll include these portals and all that. I want to finish all the paint, everything with a paint brush next, um, which shouldn't be too time consuming. Um, and then I will uh, probably ballast the track. Now ballasting the track on the old layout with a double main line uh, was a enormous pain in the ass. Um, I also had, uh, you know, linear feet wise, three times the amount of track, just having a double main line. And then that expansion with the big city scene in the yard over there, um, it was just a absurd amount of time spent ballasting and an amount of time I spent correcting myself because it was the first time I ever did that really you know I kind of let's just say shit the bed so to speak um, this should not take that long at all um, my techniques are foolproof now that I've done it so many times on the old layout with all those tracks by the time I was done doing it the last section of track I did was flawless compared to the first couple sections I had to do you know sometimes two or three times so yeah, we'll finish painting we'll ballast and then, uh, honestly, probably start doing scenery. Probably, you know, start down here, do this section. I'm going to do the water somewhat close to last. Maybe just leave this little blank, you know. Uh, start doing some of the finer details, you know, stack the lumber and put in my gravel roads and stuff. Um, again, over here, you know, I could theoretically do all of this type stuff in one day. You know, get the ballast done would be the next step and then do scenery it's not that difficult um so i'm it's it's kind of quirky i'm filming this and i'm thinking in my head like i'm really far along compared to like i said where i was even in six months or a year or a year and a half on the old layout you know finishing up that paint will if i put two hours of you know the small details of paint i also want to put another piece of phasia back here i was going to make mountainside over here but phasia versus over here, I'm leaving it mountainside because when you walk down, you see that, but I'm putting a piece of phasia over here. I will paint the phasia too. That'll be the very, very last thing I do. I'll sand up the rest of this and paint it all one color. Probably something just a little bit darker than this, a little more fluorescent brown. Um, but back to what I was saying is I'm very far along, which is also kind of why I haven't made a video in a while or worked on it hardcore, even though now winter's here, um, is because 
I do want to operate it and I do want it to be complete. I'm not going to expand this layout either. Um, when we move eventually in a year, probably within the next year, planning to move, I'll start a new layout. This one's all just fine tuning the practice and getting it done. So I have a layout to work with, but you know, um, it's come so far in such a quick amount of time that not that it took the fun out of it, but I'm really looking forward to having a completed layout that I can add minute details to and make it even more for the eye to find versus, like I said, spending those two months, I mean, two years on the old layout, getting it to, you know, just barely beyond this point. I mean, the old layout, I had ballasted track. I had 85% of the scenery in. I didn't have my main street town scene done. That's kind of where I gave up at that point. Not on that scene, but I had given up on that layout. I wanted something smaller and the track problems and connectivity issues and wiring. And now everything here is flawless. So I will work on this layout, finish it until we go to move, salvage what I can. And then when we move, our next house is a 10-year plan. You know, we're not going anywhere, meaning we're not going anywhere that we're not going to stay less than 10 years before we build our forever home, so to speak. So I will, uh, it sounds weird saying I already want to build a new layout, which I do, everybody does, but um, when we end up moving, this layout will be my, I fine-tuned my skills, practiced what I could practice, gotten a lot of stuff done, and then I'll take my good old time and build the layout like I had before. Not like that, but a very big layout, very robust layout, and do it right from day one like I did on this layout with all the skills I've learned. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with this layout. It's not as big, it's very manageable. And again, all the skills that I've worked up to this point, I'm, I'm confident in, I'm not second guessing myself or, it's not that I'm not taking my time, but I don't have to sit there and do a lot of research and, you know, take a lot of effort in the initial stages versus, you know, soldering track and laying track and, uh, installing the foam and cutting the foam and painting the foam and you know i don't know i'm kind of ranting now i feel like this whole video is just one big rant but at least you get to see what the progress looks like um and again i want to i didn't say it in this video but i wanted to make this video like 12 minutes long and here we are coming up on 18 minutes so um and it's nice to just see a train run too so i'm happy with it is it a permanent layout for me no is it my favorite layout I've ever done? That's hard to say. The first layout, four by eight, was cool. Learned a lot, had a lot of fun. Uh, it was very unrealistic. Second layout was started, you know, small. A lot of fun. I was real proud of myself and impressed with where I became or what it became. And then I doubled the size in one weekend and was overwhelmed and then was impressed and blah, blah, blah. And then it became just a nightmare. And now this one, back to basics. I feel like this layout is the springboard into my future of model railroading. So um, I'll, I don't know, I'll cut it there, I guess. So uh, train main, happy 30th birthday to me. Uh, I'll see you guys, I guess, so what is it? The 10th tomorrow. So I'll definitely have one more video before the end of the year. I promise you that you will have a video probably right around Christmas and then we'll start 2022 and go from there, see what happens. So I'll try to do the next video, like I said, probably just after I ballast the track and there might be some scenics down by then, but uh, definitely one more to end the year right. So uh, if you're in my Facebook group, Global N Scale HO Model Railroad, it's such a long title, I forget. Uh, just type in Global Model Railroad on Facebook, you'll find it. Cheers. Please subscribe. If you see me in any other groups, come join our group um, or thank you for your patronage. If you have any tips or tricks. Tony Hawk style, let me know. If you uh, think I'm doing something right or want to know more, ask or let me know. Or if you criticize me, just be nice about it. And uh, I guess we'll just end it the way we saw it. So the train main.